Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So to begin off this eye makeup look today I'm going to first of all be priming my lids with my usual Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Cream Puff. I love doing this to neutralize the eyelids so that they're nice and ready for the eyeshadows to blend in smoothly and show up really true to color. I also blend it around my brows so that the brows are nice and primed and ready for when I fill them in a bit later on. For the first eyeshadow of the day, I'm going to take my Malibu palette from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics and just with a fluffy crease brush from Zwaver, I'm going to apply this light yellow colour to the outer two-thirds of my crease. I'm next going in with Aries on the same fluffy blending brush. I just wiped it off to clean it off a little bit. I'm taking that light pink on the inner socket area to act as a transition for this kind of section of the eye. Then taking Sunset, which is a beautiful deep pink shadow on a fluffy blending brush from Eeg Show, I'm placing that quite tightly on the inner socket area of my eye. Then on the outer corner, like the outer crease area, I'm taking Bexie, which is a beautiful deep orange shadow on that same fluffy blending brush from Eeg Show. Again, I just wiped it off. I'm just building up that pigment to be nice and opaque through the outer two thirds of the eye socket. Then I'm going to take that light yellow eyeshadow again. I'm going to soften any harsh lines or edges from that orange and then repeating the same step with the pink using Aries to soften any harsh lines or edges with Sunset. Then switching over to my Chi Chi Pride palette I'm taking this even deeper orange tone from the palette to deepen up the outer third of the eye socket. Just a little bit more. I wanted it to be quite deep um, so I just kind of created a little bit more of a transition there. Next to cut my crease, I'm taking the same concealer we used before, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm actually going to map out a fairly like decent cut crease, I guess. So I'm basically cutting the whole crease all the way to the outer corner and I'm bringing it up above my natural crease. So I'm cheating my crease shape in terms of I'm making it a little bit larger than what it naturally is and flicking it out towards the brow in the outer corner. And of course just filling in the lid so the whole thing is pretty much concealed and you've got a fresh base to work with. Then I'm taking my Deuce palette from Juvia's Place and taking that gorgeous shimmery shadow called Tarte. It's got kind of pink reflex to it. It's like white with pink reflex. I'm taking that along my whole lid area, taking it all the way to the outer corner. I really want to create a nice kind of carved out cut crease so I do keep the pigment very close to the edge and everything quite defined if that makes sense. Then I'm taking Custard which is like a kind of berry purpley pink shadow on a petite crease brush from Zoeva. I'm smoking out the lash line area. Um, kind of building on the smoky liner look that we're creating here. I'm just starting off with the transition shade I would say. So I'm just taking that from the outer corner or the outer flick on the um, outer point of the eye all the way towards my inner corner mapping out the smoky liner look that we are going to be creating here. Next I'm taking this gel liner from Morphe. I don't remember quite what the name was so I'll leave it linked down below for you guys but it's just their purple gel liner and on an eyeliner brush from Eeg Show I'm going to map out a fairly decent winged liner shape here. Not too thick but I am flicking it out uh, fairly far towards the tail of the brow. Then I'm going to take these three beautiful purple shadows from the Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette and on a little pencil brush from Eek Show I'm going to be blending that liner creating the smoky liner effect that you see I've created on the other eye. Do take your time with this step. I like to go back and forth with custard and then those purple shadows to get the perfect blend. Then I take Royalty from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette and smoke out that colour along the liner itself. I wanted it to be a bit of a glittery effect and really deepen up that purple liner so that's why I went in with Royalty. And I do go back and forth with those matte purple shadows as well along the outer edges of that wing liner to help everything blend together really smoothly. And of course taking Custard again to further blend out any harsh lines or edges. Once you've done that, I'm going to go back with Tarte and just clean up any mess that I may have created. I do want that shimmery kind of whitey pink shadow to be up against the cut crease. So because I found I brought custard too far up, I am cleaning up um, the cut crease a little bit with Tarte. So if you feel like you've done the same, uh, just feel free to start cleaning up the look in this step. 
Next, moving on to lashes, and I've already done my base makeup and cleaned up under my eyes, so there's a nice kind of concealed line against that wing liner, so everything's nice and sharp and clean. I'm going in and filling in my waterline. I've gone in with the red liner from Tarte. I don't remember what it was. I think it's burgundy, and it's just a coal liner I went in and just lined my waterline with. I also went in with the Honey's Beauty Box Cosmetics Lashes in the style Pleasantly Plump 2. Next, taking Adelaide from the Honey's Beauty Box Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going in and smoking the bottom lash line and also creating a flick on the outer corner, leaving a gap between the winged liner at the top and the flick on the bottom. Then I'm taking uh, some of those orange tones and smoking out the red a little bit more so it's not so harsh. And next go in and clean up that flick on the bottom lash line area because I want it to be quite uh, sharp and defined. Next I'm taking Tarte again from the Juvia's Place Deuce palette and I'm going in and applying that to the inner corners of my eyes to give it a bit of an inner corner pop. For my brow bone highlight I'm taking Beam from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and placing that on the very highest point of my brow and filling in that gap between the wing liner and that outer corner flick on our bottom lash line area. Just so there's a bit of pedazzle there so it's not so plain and boring. <laughs> Finally I'm finishing off the eyes with some bottom lash mascara. This is the Raw Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara. And that guys completes today's makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, I did a little poll on Instagram and most of you guys really liked the sound of Berry Tingles as a name for this eye look. And you guys actually gave me a few different suggestions so I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this look down below. I love you all so much and I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.